What's up, everyone? A lot of people have been asking, how do I do a Luma Fade in DaVinci Resolve? Um, as you know, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube of how to do that in After Effects, Premiere Pro, Vegas, but no one's got one on DaVinci Resolve, at least not yet. So wanted to just take a few minutes to show everyone how to do that. First thing is, you're going to want to make sure you've got uh, DaVinci Resolve 12.5. It's free. Just go to Black uh, Magic's website and you can download it. The second thing is, you're going to want to download the Sapphire uh, OpenFX plugin. And there's many videos on YouTube on how to get that. So, a Luma Fade works best when you've got a dark part of the image and a lighter part of the image. The higher the difference in the contrast between the two, the, the better the, the fade uh, turns out. In fact, this blue is kind of in the middle of the luminance range, and you're going to see there's a little challenges when I try to, to uh, fade this out, but we'll talk through that later. But in this case, I'm going to retain the black part of the image and fade out the light part where the clouds are, and then bring in that other image, which is a video from Let's see, a video from uh, San Francisco 49ers game. I'm going to fade in. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go into your OpenFX plugins. And once you've downloaded and installed the Sapphire uh, plugin, it automatically will populate in this list. So, you're going to want to select Dissolve Luma. You're going to want to copy that to the first clip at the end. And then you're going to want to go into your Inspector tab. So just click on that. And it, in case you don't have it, then you'll need to select it up here. And then that's going to bring up the details on how to configure this. So a couple things you're going to want to note. Um, you're going to want to determine whether or not you're going to fade in right away or if you're going to hold it. I like to hold it for a period of time and then uh, fade out. Or I like to do it in steps. And so I'm going to show you how I did uh, the one in the intro into uh, a couple of different steps. So in my case, make it most of the clip. So that's the duration of the fade. I want to make it about five seconds total length. Um, before I go and configure the rest of this, let's go to the OpenFX tab. And this is where there's some other uh, presets. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is multiply, because that's going to give the effect that we want to see, where it fades it out. It brings the new one in, and then it uh, uh, retains the existing darker portion of the first clip. Okay. If you wanted to fade out the black instead of the white, then you would click Invert Pattern. But I'm not going to worry about that. I want to keep it in the default. Um, and for Smooth, Smooth would basically, this darker portion, it would smooth this out. In my case, I want to keep it because I think it adds a little personality to the, uh, the image. Um, in certain cases, I like to make it as smooth as possible, but in this case, I'm going to keep it at zero. Softness, I don't usually mess with that. Um, so that's it for this tab. So let's go back to the transition. Um, on the transition, like I said, I'm going to ease it in at different stages or different points. So I've already pre-worked where I kind of want to put these markers or where I want to make my transitions. So... Let's go to the first transition. And so what we're going to do here is set a keyframe. And so this first keyframe is really just the zero position. So that's usually by default set. If not, you type it in zero. And what I want to do is fade it in for a while, or pretty quickly actually. And I'm just going to adjust this transition curve until it looks like about where I want to see it start to bring in the uh, second clip. So you can see it's starting to, to peek in now. Just a little bit more. Let's see. All right, let's keep it there for now. So I'm going to kind of bring that in uh, for a uh, and hold that for, I don't know, a second or so. So it kind of gives that, that effect that it's kind of, you're kind of peeking in into uh, the scene there. And then at this point, 
I'm going to crank it all the way up so that the image is completely visible. So you're going to notice the bluer portion where the, the sky was blue. That's going to be the last part to transition out. And as soon as that transitions out, right before the black or the darker area transitions is where I want to stop it. So I'm going to keep cranking it up here. Let's see, there goes the blue. It's starting to transition out. Again, it's all based on luminance. So it starts with the light, continues through the midtones, and eventually gets to the darkest. And so let's go a little more. I still see it. Uh, let's. I'm starting to lose my black there. So let's stop it about there, about 880. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. So I want to hold this all the way for, say, three seconds or so. So at this point, I'm going to put that same value that I had in at the other at the other keyframe. And that way it holds it in this position where it kind of gives this illusion that these people are overlooking or looking at the game from this cliff here. I want to keep it at that position while this clip is showing and showing the game. And then at this point, I'm going to slowly fade back or all the way out so such that it shows the entire second clip by the end so by default it looks like it puts a uh, keyframe at that point and if you back up you can see here that it kind of had a linear relationship um, as far as the uh, transition from my last keyframe to the end so that's that's exactly how I want to do it and um, we'll leave that there I'm gonna play this through and see how it looks. Okay, that looks good to me. So if you've got any questions on how to do this or any other uh, questions related to the Luma Fate, let me know. Just leave a, a comment below and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. Have a good day.